Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to my channel, you DJN. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving, but that's not going to stop you. It certainly won't stop me. I was able to sneak away for a couple of minutes to do the Lord's work right here, just like the pilgrims did way back when, which allowed you and me to be doing what we do now, buddy. So in honor of that tradition, I'm going to cover football right now for Thanksgiving and the Black Friday special game tomorrow. I got a couple of plays. There's a free square for McCaffrey. There's a free square on sleep. I couldn't leave the YouTube faithful alone. Not when I'm this close to 10k. I told the lady I got to get on there. I got to give them what they want. They need it. They're like my second family. So my second family, my brothers in Christ, I'm bringing to you a quick little video today. Not NBA, which is what you're used to, but I got a couple of NFL things that were worth mentioning. I don't have a handy dandy notepad today, but I got the model projections loaded up and ready to go. And I'm going to scan through it and see what we can find. So right out of the gate, Prize Picks has blessed everyone with a half a free square for Christian McCaffrey. All he needs is half a yard. If he sells that, I'll actually put him on the ban list. Okay, I don't ban anybody, but he'll he'll make the list if he sells Chris Jericho style So the first play that I want to talk about today The highest differential left with the two remaining games on the board is none other than DK Metcalf Listen the Niners defense right now is playing on God tier level But the one way that they do kind of give up a little bit of yards is through the air So we can target DK Metcalf and kind of feel okay about it I mean not really because it's Geno Smith on the other side of the ball chucking the rock But we won't even get into that right now, but I want to talk about DK Metcalf. Four and a half receptions. If I can't sell you on the receptions, you could take his 57 and a half receiving yards. The only way Seattle stays competitive in this game today is going to be if DK Metcalf gets his. Four and a half receptions. I want to show you something right quick. I had no time today. I had no, no time at all, my friends, but I was able to do model projections for my Discord faithful, and so far it's been pretty good with the first game, but I wanted to point out this. It's in a PDF, and I know it small you can't really see it but I got DK Metcalf projected for 5.42 receptions folks and 65 yards okay that's almost a full reception over what his line is so I'm gonna go ahead and take that again if you don't feel comfortable with his receptions I understand you can go to his yards either or they're in play and if you want to really get crazy you really want to think he's gonna get a touchdown or something you could literally take the Debo Samuel the DK Metcalf Brandon Ayuk rush receptions either of these combos they're in play I like them both Ayuk Samuel either one of those guys can get a touchdown are you kidding me especially against the Hawks and then if you really really need to gamble you can go to his fantasy score because I know some of you guys are stuck with that the DK Metcalf Brandon Ayuk combo all that's in play just make sure you have some exposure to DK I made my case for the receptions I showed you the model projections either or is fine so we're moving right along we're digging through this dumpster on a Thanksgiving day maybe we find some giblets which maybe Maybe we get to eat those giblets and maybe we find a W. Talked about this yesterday. I'm not as high on it today because they bumped it up a little bit. But Brandon Ayuk's receiving yards. Do I even need to go to the model or make a case? My brother in Christ, he's in play. I got him projected for, I think it was 71 or 75. I can't remember. His opening line was, I believe, 63 or 64. Talked about it in yesterday's video, but he's absolutely still in play today. You can go right there. Lamb got bumped up from 89 to 95. He came off a stinker the other day. Not the other day. It was last week, but it's a short week. I think Lamb's going to eat. I think Dak and Lamb both eat. So what I want to say is if you want to take his receiving yards, you have Captain's Blessing. His receptions, you have my blessing. And you get the benefit of that crispy, that crusty push equity. I'm talking crust because we're eating pie today, boys. A little bit of pumpkin pie, anyone? Absolutely. It's Thanksgiving. Why not? I'll eat some pie. Or... It could just be the fantasy score, or the maybe it's just the pass plus rush reception TD. It's dealer's choice because it's Thanksgiving. You're just here to gamble anyways. So maybe take that. Receptions and yards would probably be my favorite, but again, they're both bumped to the moon. But what I really like, this play I talked about yesterday was at four and a half receptions. Now they bumped it up to five. We got a new QB coming into the mix. They're going to be throwing from behind. Let's be honest. The Dolphins have a high octane offense. They're going to be scoring points. So Garrett Wilson at five receptions whoa I think he's in play absolutely look at this two versus Buffalo but they had a stinker but before that nine seven seven eight he's the primary alpha receiver on that team okay he's all they got buddy it's all they got 
If they got any shot of winning, which is how we're building the slips, we need to get these guys their opportunity. Garrett Wilson, five receptions. You can take him to the bank, and hopefully he doesn't sell you. Hopefully that check doesn't bounce, because when you get to the bank, maybe the teller tells you you ain't got any funds, and that's what's going to happen if he doesn't go over six, five five receptions and get six you dig what i'm telling you and finally the most egregious play on the board right here tyree kill at 78 and a half receiving yards and six receptions what are they doing is this a black friday sell honestly what is this six receptions for tyree kill i don't care about the last five but let me show you this 10 8 8 11 6 the man's floor is six now he's playing the jets and before you go off and tell me that the jets defense is this and that you think sauce gardner is stopping tyree kill he's played the best of the best and he's been smashing them all season long like he's roman reigns okay he comes in and he smashes everybody it's literally that simple 78 and a half receiving yards is egregious and it's an insult to this man okay 146 last week the kansas city chiefs game he got a little bit banged up new england 112 88 against philly 163 against carolina he's setting all the records i think he's the optimal run back with garrett wilson his receptions or his receiving yards or even his pass rush receiving touchdowns or maybe even his fantasy score which i don't see that they have it up here yet because they're scared all of it's in play you don't fade the cheetah especially on black friday okay because if there's anyone who's going to give you a sale it's going to be the cheetah so get him into the mix i would probably lean towards the receptions just because of the push equity it gives but the 78 and a half receiving yards for a man who has a 200 yard ceiling is just it's insane what are we doing i say all that and watch him come out and sell for 30 yards can you imagine tomorrow if tyree kill goes for 30 yards i say it all the time if hill goes for 30 yards tomorrow i'm gonna have to take a second mortgage out on my home refinance anyone couldn't be me, but it just might be if Tyree Kill decides to sell. So let's keep our feet firing and keep digging through this dumpster and see what we can come up with. Okay, the last two that I want to mention that were worthy of me mentioning, okay? Jake Fergie. Listen, last week, they gave it to old Luke Schoonmaker. What kind of a name is that? That's an elite name. I'm going to give it to him. He gets his, he gets his credit, all right? Old Luke the Book. He got a touchdown last week, but look at this. Half a fantasy score. He can get that, can he? He absolutely can. Sorry, my prize picks just started to error out of nowhere, so I lost the rest of it. But you know the slip we were building, and we were talking about it. But Jake Ferguson, I got him going for exactly like 9.75 fantasy. He will need a touchdown to get this, Jake Ferguson. And this is why I'm talking about either one of these. If you think Luke's the guy that's the red zone target today and get in that box, then take Luke. He only needs one catch, one touchdown, anything. Same thing with Jake. If Jake gets a touchdown today, he's going to cash his fantasy. I'm telling you right now, both of those guys are in play. Dak should eat today, so his fantasy score is in play. And I'm going to throw in an under just because I'm crazy like that today. Every time I take an under, they soar over. It's like clockwork. But Tony Pollard, 15 and a half rush attempts. Look at this for the last five truthers. He's all red peppers. So guess what? Are we taking more today? No. Even though it's last five red peppers, I still like less. I got him going for 14 and a half in my model. So I'm going to go ahead and deal with that. I think it's a crazy play because in my mind, I'm thinking they're going to crush them. They're, of course, he's going to get 16 attempts because they're just going to run the clock and pound and ground, ground and pound because they're going to crush them. But for some reason, the model disagrees and me, I'm going to trust it because the model's been on point for this Lions game. Albeit, it has Gibbs and Montgomery going over and they might be scripted out of this game because you're going to be watching this during in the Lions game it's not looking pretty for Gibbs and Montgomery right now but there's still a lot of game left and anything can happen hopefully Gibbs finds his way into the box hopefully he gets 30 receiving yards it's not looking good but for the Packers side with Jordan Love Watson Dobbs Reed all of it it's looking like a cash but anything can happen Kyle so I'll have to wait and see and with that there's no NBA today maybe I'll bless you guys with an NBA video tomorrow of course I will what am I I'm Captain Crush I'm gonna bless you guys tomorrow I came out here to do the Lord's work. Now, I gotta edit this bad boy. So, if you want all the model projections, take your fanny over to CaptainCrush.net and get yourself in that gold package. It's Thanksgiving, Black Friday. If you buy anything on Black Friday, it should be Captain Crush's gold package because it's really a great value, okay? So, I bid you guys a happy Thanksgiving. Eat some turkey legs for your boy. Stay away from the cranberry sauce. It's not, it's not kosher. Here's the salute, and as always, let's crush.